Hey guys, and today I'm gonna show you how I set up my own desktop computer, which I am using working from home every day. And Windows operating system is Windows 7. And for us to get started, first off, we need to have a CPU. And that's how a CPU looks like. Some CPUs comes with a DVD tray and mine comes with it. Some CPUs don't have. And this CPU, I bought it from Lazada for only 1,199 pesos. And of course, our monitor. The size of my monitor is 17 inch. And of course, our keyboard. The keyboard we'll be using is a USB type keyboard. Which you can just plug in to the USB port of our CPU. And of course, mouse is needed for easy navigation and it's also a usb type a usb type mouse and our vga cable which connects our system from the cpu to the monitor it has the same ends and then our lan cable which connects our computer system to the internet and of course I've added additional speakers for our setup here the speaker also comes with a USB type power source which you can plug in also at the back of our CPU and that's our front view of our setup so to get our system connected we'll have to proceed at the back of our setup and again that's our CPU over there, which has different ports, and it also comes with a power cord. Our monitor also comes with a power cord. And of course, our speaker, the LAN cable, the VGA cable, our mouse, and our keyboard. To start off, I'd like to get the VGA cable connected first. And as you can see, our VGA cable, both ends are the same. So any of the ends will fit into the VGA port of our CPU. That's the VGA port of our CPU and just plug it like so. Make sure to tighten the screws so that the VGA connector will not come off. And also, don't forget to double check a little bit to make sure that it will not come off. And of course, the other end will go into the VGA port of our monitor, which is found. Okay, let me just lay it down a little bit so that you can see the port of our monitor. There it is. And you can just plug it in like so. And again, just tighten the screws so that the cable will not come off. Make sure to just double check a little bit. And that should be good. Means just put it to the normal position. Okay, all right. And next is our mouse. The CPU comes with a bunch of USB ports. So any of these ports will work. You can just plug it into any of them. So I'd like to put it right there. Our keyboard. Since it's a USB type keyboard, you can also just plug it in to different ports. I'd like to put it just beside where my mouse was connected or inserted. Our speaker comes with a USB type power source. 
which you can plug in to the USB ports any USB ports at the back of our CPU all right and the male jack goes into the female port of our CPU right at the back well not just at the back there is also a female port in front of the CPU and for our system to be connected to the internet we're gonna use this LAN cable or LAN cable and plug it into the LAN port of our internet modem like that and the other end goes into the LAN port of our CPU that one that's done and that's all there is to it and to get your system working get the power cord that comes with the CPU and the monitor so we'll get this power cords plugged in to the power source now first is our CPU okay, any of that and then our monitor and since our system is plugged into the power source all that is left for us to do is turn on the system turn on the CPU and the monitor starting windows please wait welcome and there we have it that's our system and you can see that it's working let's check the internet connection because we've connected our system to the internet modem and it says currently connected to the network it has internet access so it could connect to the internet for us to double check us or make sure that it's connected we'll open this Google Chrome and check out some videos or play some videos to make sure awesome as you can see our system is perfectly connected to the internet and playing this video We are connected to Wi-Fi, but we cannot browse online. And upon checking, it's a thing. There's an LOS red light blinking. So let's do some basic troubleshooting. Okay guys, and that's how you set up your own desktop computer. Please check out some of my other videos in my channel. Please check out RTCRA95. And if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, hit that red subscribe button there. And peace out. Thanks for watching.